Now, as we get up to temperature here, we can't have sheep if we can't keep them in. Right. Now, something we deal with out here in the country uh, with our chickens. Predators. Oh, I, I hate like them. And what we found when we talked to the Kin Cove people out of Pennsylvania, they make electric fence netting. Now, it keeps the predators out, keeps the sheep in. Be nice. Everybody's happy. Let's talk to them. I'm with Lacey Weimer from Pennsylvania. And tell us who you work for. Kenco Farm Fence Supplies. Um, the home warehouse is based in Blairsville, Pennsylvania, which is about 30 miles east of Pittsburgh. My wife is Greek, so she introduced me several years ago to lamb. I'd had it before, but then I started messing around with it and, and making it different ways, and now we're in love with lamb. And in Western Kentucky, it's all about the mutton, so I want to do both, but I don't want to raise a bunch. Now, last year we had pigs over here. Mm -hmm. Pigs are in the freezer. And so I, you're starting a new project. We're starting a new project. <laughs> And when I found out about you guys, I thought we have got to try this because there's so many different ways. For cattle, you have this kind of fence. For horses, you have this kind of mm -hmm. thing. But I wanted something that would keep them in, but even more importantly, in, in right next to the woods, predators out. As I'm looking here, obviously, this is a solar-powered outfit with a battery. Sure. And it's a netting, yes. which you can take and stick in the ground and move it as you see fit. Yeah, very portable, easy, lightweight, easy to move. Um, you can roll it back up, store it for winter, bring it back out in the spring. It is electrifiable, so there's, um, in, in, within this line, there are stainless steel conductors. So when Wiley Coyote comes over here and says, hey, look at there, it's dinner, and he sticks his nose up there, he's going to get... He's going to get electrified. Now, I see that there's a stake on each one of those. You stick it in the ground, unroll it, wherever you want that to be. Yes. So if you want to uh, switch from one area to the next and just kind of move them along, to that next fresh grass scenario, mm -hmm. there you are. There's 13 step-in posts. Gotcha. So you can see in a little while, we'll just kind of throw them out as we go along and then walk back around, stand it up, and step it in. All right, I'm looking at this little rig right here. Yeah, Very this is portable. a solar dolly. Tell us how it works. Okay, so whenever you pick your fence, then you're going to want to um, choose a solar energizer that matches your fence. And our general recommendation is that you want to have a quarter joule from your energizer output per electric net. And then this little component here is a solar charge controller. And I always say it's the brains of the operation. It basically controls the energy going into the battery mm -hmm. and the energy leaving the battery and has a low voltage disconnect so that if um, you would run across maybe a period that you don't have any sun, your battery doesn't totally dissipate and kill itself. Do you set this stuff out and it just rolls? How long, how long before you have to replace the battery or? Um, as long as you don't, as long as you have the solar controller that doesn't let it totally dissipate over and over again, you'll get a long period of time out of that battery. The electric nets are actually um, made in the Blairsville facility, and this is the only electric net that's made in the USA. Any other places that sell electric netting is imported. We're just going to untie the strings, let the stakes fall, give it a little push here and unroll. Just pick the 13 step-in posts up in your hand, find your first one, and just give it a toss. Okay, how and about that? And then walk backwards till it gets tight again. And then you can throw out your second post. Oh, wow. So then you'll just start with your first post, pick it up, step it in. And then just pretty much, you know, Eyeball them as close to straight as you want to get it. Pull it tight. It's built of very durable material. These are half-inch fiberglass rods. How about that? This is so. This is so movable. Yes. Very you portable. Just move them all over the place. Extremely portable. So then you're just going to take your green ropes that we used earlier to untie the net, and that's what you're going to tie your posts together with. Want your solar panel to face due south, which to my calculation should be you are correct. right about there. This is what we call quick ground rod, so it has its built-in hammer. Mm -hmm. So very oh. portable. All right, hang on. Let me check it. Let me check it right now. Ready? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Lead outs from your energizer. Green goes to your ground. Red goes to your fence. So we're just going to make sure that the controller is on. It'll be a little red light if you push the green um, button. And then we'll just turn the fence energizer to on. And you can see the light and hear the fence energizer ticking. It ticks with every pulse. 
All right, now let me ask you this. Somebody wants to get a hold of you guys. Um, I'm going to order a bunch of this. So mm -hmm. basically, it's, and you said take about two days to get it here. Yeah. How do you do it, that? How do you get a hold of you guys? Uh, as long, email or as long as the product is in stock, we usually ship it out that day. If you place your order by noon, 1-800 Kenco or www.kencove.com. We do a lot of online ordering. There's a lot of product descriptions there to visit as well as tutorials, videos to watch on how to set your net up, how to tear it down. So this is the trick to yep. not tangling it, correct? Just set them down. And then just the way we went back setting it out post by post, you want to pick it up the same way. So you want to take the first post directly to the second post, pick up your second post, Go directly to your third post. Well. And then when you get to the end, you just roll your netting up and tie it back up with your green strings. You know what? This is exciting. I'm going to be a sheep farmer. I've done the pig <laughs> thing. Now it's time to do the sheep thing. Thank you so much Best for coming lesson. down. Absolutely.